All right, it's time to play some Ninja Gaiden. This is one of my all-time favorite NES games, and uh, this is the first in the series that I'm going to do where I beat some hard NES games. And uh, so let's get to it. Starting off with Ninja Gaiden. This game is legendary, and uh, we're going to beat it today. So we're going to watch the cutscenes too, because I like them a lot. Starts out with a, uh, a battle between these two ninjas here. Set up the backstory of the game. Oh, so awesome. Now, I don't claim to be an expert or anything, uh, but I have beat some hard games. Like, I've beat the entire Ninja Gaiden trilogy and the Castlevania trilogy, and uh, but I never recorded it, so I'm going to record it. And uh, it's been a while since I played Ninja Gaiden, so hopefully I don't struggle too hard. But I'm not, I'm nowhere near some of the speedrunners that you see on the internet these days, like, I'm sure there's uh, videos of no death playthroughs of this game, but I'm certainly going to die, and I'm going to die a lot, because this game is hard. Especially when we get to around, uh, the last stage. Yeah, stage 6-2. 6-2 is ruthless, so when we get there, we're probably going to be there for a while. Ryu, be always brave. So I love the, I love this game. I love the plot, I love the cutscenes. I love ninja stuff in general, so let's get started. All right, here we go. Act one. So the game actually starts out really easy. Uh, the first stage is laughably easy, which is nice, but it starts to ramp up pretty quick. So if you're new around here, or never uh, been to the site or anything. Um, we only do stuff on original hardware. So what I'm playing on right now is um, my top loader, my NES top loader uh, that I RGB modded. And if you're curious about the setup, all my RGB consoles go through an Extron Crosspoint RGB matrix switcher. And then it goes to a number of places. Uh, one being the Frame Meister, which is upscaling it right now. Um, and then I have two PVMs and then an LCD as well. So right now I'm playing on a PVM 14M for you because it's my absolute favorite way to play. The monitor looks amazing and, uh, and, um, it's good because there's absolutely no lag. Um, with the Frame Meister, there's, there's very little lag, but, um, there's enough and there's enough to make a difference when recording, I think. So, I try and play on the PVM when I'm recording if I can help it. Who's there? So we just got to a bar and beat the everlasting crap out of some giant guy with a machete. And there's a girl in here. Get out of here. Just a girl. Get out of here. I will, but first. Oh no, she has a gun. Oh. Ryu, you gotta dodge that. You're a ninja. What could possibly be happening? Yeah, so, oh, another cutscene, right. Oh, where, where am I? I see the anesthetic is wearing off. So she shot him with a tranquilizer and put him in jail. It's not very ninja-like. Hmm. Take this and escape. What is this? This statue. So these statues are sort of the basis of the plot. We gotta do something about these statues. Didn't you try to kill me? Come on, Ryu, get with it. Someone's coming. Be careful. Man, look how good that looks, though. They really knocked it out of the park with this game. Alright, so we're on to Act 2 the first um, boxing man that we've seen. Whoops. Those guys, if you let those guys punch you, you're, they'll just punch you until you're dead. Because they start jumping back and forth. Another thing about Ninja Gaiden that you gotta know is that there's always a bat. When you think there's... When you think, oh, oh, see, I got hit. Oh, that was close. There's always a bat when you 
before you jump, you should always make sure there's no bats like that one right there. Because you'll just hit it midair. And die. Fall into a hole and die. There's lots of cool power-ups too. This one here is my favorite. Oh, I don't have anything to... I don't have any spiritual power. But that's a great one, the throwing star. Um, there's two sort of like throwing stars, but this one's like a boomerang, and if you jump around and dodge it, it'll fling around and hit multiple enemies. So it's a really useful one. Oh. Alright, well. See this ninja star that I have now? Not nearly as useful, because it just goes straight. Doesn't boomerang around. So this is health. There's very little health, but there is health throughout the game. It is pretty stingy with it. Another thing is, I love the music. Can't get enough of the music. I have the music downloaded on my phone and I listen to it quite a bit. Oh no. I like those guys. Okay, so upcoming. Oh, okay, so see this guy here? Up here, you have to jump down there and land on that pillar, but uh, that sucks because there's a guy on it. So what we can do is if we move over until he's right at the edge of the screen somewhere. Find the sweet spot. Oh. Ah, there we go. And then don't jump right away because you'll just land on that guy. So, the thing with this, with these games, all these games, um, in the NES uh, Ninja Gaiden trilogy, is that they're hard if you don't know what's about to happen, basically. You kinda gotta, whoops, kinda gotta play it like a, like a puzzle. So you gotta figure out what's the best way to get through each situation. And then just remember that and it'll get you get you through the level. I love this guy. Oh, he just puts it out there. I don't think he can oh jeez. Could you stop that, please? This guy's really easy, I'm just being lazy. Yeah, we did it! So where am I now? That's what I want to know. Uh, the first guy at Brass was in a... was in, The first boss was in a bar. What is this bizarre statue anyway? And who was that woman? I always like to think of this part, like how he's, think he's thinking this as he's running through the level. Just sprinting his face off. Supposed acquaintance of my father, Dr. Smith. Or Mr. Smith, I can't read. Alright, Act 3. Do we get another cutscene? Oh, yeah, we do. Who is it? You must be Walter Smith. My name is Ryu Hayabusa. Hi! Hey! So, um... This guy is a friend of our father. I guess? He recognizes the... The sword of the ninja clan. I love his face. It's a solid beard. Oh, they're on an expedition. Found a strange statue and a stone tablet. On the tablet it said... What did it say, Mr. Smith? Any second. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me that statue... Dot dot dot. A lot of dot dot dots in this. Yes, precisely. I thought it had been stolen. An entire nation? Jeez, the stakes are going through the roof. But then Shinobi appeared to stop the demon. Shinobi. Of the dragon. So Shinobi bore the strength of the dragon? So, Shinobi from... Is that, like, from the Sega game? Hmm. Or is just Shinobi just a Japanese word I'm not familiar with? They seem to be really emphasizing Shinobi. Hmm. 
the shadow statue and therefore the light statue's got to be out there somewhere and someone's doing some rotten stuff with it oh look out oh no he kicked it and now I've got it bye friend <laughs> bye friend after him Maria you got it let's do it after that ninja we gotta get that statue back slice 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 Tigers are no fun. Okay, so here's the introduction of the birds, everybody's favorite enemy. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I missed my jump. Sorry, folks. So nobody likes the birds, because they fly all around. And I do serious damage. I'm also not a big fan of these leopard guys. Whoop. Let's just deal with the birds right away. Ah, oh, I love this tune. I like how... So in every level there's different things floating around to give you power-ups. In the first level it was lights, and sometimes it's candles, and right now it's just birds. Straight up birds. But not evil birds like those ones. I think you can make this guy glitch away too if you just. Eh, maybe not. Not that it's really necessary to do that. Here comes a guy. Oh, I missed him. See, everything respawns. So. That guy, yeah. See, that guy disappeared up there too. That's the guy I was thinking of. Tiger, leopard man. Alright, so when I jump here, there's gonna be a bird. And you gotta make sure you time your jump when he's walking away. <sighs> oh, he didn't quite get me. Alright, time to fight that ninja that stole the statue. Oh, this guy throws annoying bullet things. Whoops. You can get them both in one slash if you're quick enough. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that's the first one that's like somewhat challenging because you got to get that timing down for those bullet things. But really, it's not that challenging because he just jumps around. All right, we got it back, I guess. I felt a strange premonition and hurried back. Oh, he's having a little soliloquy for us. Oh no, Dr. Smith, what happened? The light demon statue was taken. I wish I could capture the PVM itself. Because it looks amazing. It looks equally as sharp as what's in the capture right now. But it has real nice scan lines. For 700 years. And now it's starting to wake up. Alright, so we gotta make sure they don't combine. Okay, look at those arms. Ryu is just jacked. I like this music too. Gotta become the ninja dragon. Dr. Smith, Dr. Smith! Uh oh. Come with us. More men in Oh man, they are... Those are scary gentlemen. Oh man, what's gonna happen? Act four. Do we get another cutscene? Yes, we do. Okay, we've been kidnapped. Welcome, Ryu Hayabusa. Sorry if we startled you. Well, yeah, you pointed guns at me. Just asked me to come nicely. Oh, we're from the CIA Special Auxiliary Unit. My name's Foster. I have nothing to say. Getting right to the point. <laughs> to that awkward silence. Wait, I want to know why you killed Smith. So the, the CIA murdered Smith. Oh, I guess they didn't. We'll fill you in on what we know. See, I never remember what actually happens in the cutscenes, because whenever I play this game, uh, you know, just by myself, I always just skip through it so I can play the game. But, uh... 
I think they're fun and worth recording. The temple was built more than 2,000 years ago. The discoverer was Dr. Smith, who studied the ruins for some time. Dr. Smith and my father... He suddenly sealed off the ruins. I wonder why. And ever since then, no one has gone close. Hmm. Later, however, a man moved in and took over the ruins. His name is Guardia de Mio. He calls himself Jacquio. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, Jacquio, the final boss of this game. The nemesis of Ninja Gaiden. Or the, the nemesis of Ryu, I guess. The, uh, the villain of Ninja Gaiden, I should say. Among others. Foster's kind of a dink, too. We'll find out. Yeah, he's probably killed by someone working for Jack Rio. Let's go with that. Even though there's a bunch of CIA, guy, CIA guys with guns next to his dead body. Not buying it. Nothing to say. When a black moon shines, light and dark break apart. The king of darkness howls. Ooh. These were the last words written on the stone tablet. Interesting. Interesting. If someone brings the demon back to life, he will gain incredible power. Enough to control the entire world. Well, we better make sure that doesn't happen. So you know about that. Yeah, why would the CIA know about this? The woman who shot you in the bar was one of our agents. Oh. They are after you. Who is Jack Rio? Use this and go to their headquarters. Get the demon statue back. Okay. So we have to get the second demon statue back. Of course, you will be paid for the work. You're the CIA. If I say no, what then? What then, Foster? You know the answer to that. We'll murder you. You'll be murdered by the CIA. Do as we say. Of course. Classic CIA. Oh yeah, this is a cool one. You get in there. You get in that Amazon. You parachute down there and you get that demon statue, you ninja. Alright, things are starting to ramp up. So this first jump right here, jump early. Oh, too early. <laughs> Not that early. So if you just run up and jump, you'll land on that guy's head and die. But if you jump nice and early, you can land on him there and give him a nice slash. Must keep ninja focus. Oh, good goodness gracious. Oh, I made it so much worse. The spin attack thing is really useful too. Oh, see. Oh! So many bats. Gotta look for bats. Gotta make sure you look for bats. Oh. Jeez. Alright, I got game over, but luckily we have unlimited continues. Tiger Man, the bat, yep, another bat, and another bat. No! Oh man, that's close. I almost died at the exact same spot. That would have been unfortunate. See, there's another bat. See, every time you go for a jump, there's gonna be a bat. So just expect bats or birds. Whoop! The best thing is to get the birds off screen, because then it's like they never existed. Oh, jeez. Oh, double tiger. Blip. <laughs> I love that part. Ryu kind of like folds inside himself, like implodes. Watch that part back and, <laughs> and watch him sort of fold inside himself before this cutscene. I like this a lot though. This right here was my desktop wallpaper for some time. That's a great bit of 8 bit awesomeness. Oh, this tune's awesome too. Though, so, 4-2, this tune is called Unbreakable Determination. Because that's what you need up to this point. And this level introduces the green jumping ninja fellas that are working for 
Jacquio, I guess. And they're not a lot of fun. Like, this upcoming part is gonna be annoying. A lot of birds and a lot of jumping ninja boys. Get away from me. Oh. Oh, cut me some slack. Okay, alright. suck though. I'm just gonna... Yep, just gonna ignore him. Climb the ladder. Alright. I need some sneaky music. Alright, that worked out. Gotta throw the knife like that. Not fun. When you're climbing up that ladder. Okay, I think there's gonna be a bat. Oh no, there's no bat there. Just that guy appears behind you. Oh, here come the spinny McDervish boys. Spinny kick McDervish, so I like to call him. Whoop! <laughs> Getting very tense. Okay, now I seem to. Oh, yes. Something very important here. So, right here. You gotta get this right here. That. You're gonna want. You're gonna want that for the upcoming boss. Whoop. Oh, jeez. There we go. Oh, man. I do not have much life. Okay, so this boss here. Uh, he breaks apart. There's one fake one and one real one. You gotta jump over quick and kill the fake one, or else he just splits indefinitely. So make sure you use your ninja star there and kill that fake one. And then you can stand right over here underneath this pillar, and you're pretty much safe. And just come out and take some slashes while it goes the other way. I have been hit down here before, but uh, not too bad. Ooh. That's what usually happens, I get overconfident and then die. Because <laughs> I left my spot. Yeah. Oh, I didn't have any more. There we go. I like how all the bosses explode in a fiery explosion. You have come a long way to bring me the demon statue. Now give it to me. Looks like that guy has no chin. Which is why I think he talks like that. I assume that's Jackwio. That's Jackwio right there. Ryu! It's that girl I barely know and just met. With the big hair. You coward. No, don't give it to him. I don't mind this pointy stick on my neck. Now put down the demon statue. On the floor and back up. Oh, jeez, Ryu. You fell for it. You're gonna fall for it quite literally. I remember what happens. I Take the girl away. She's going to be a sacrifice. Jeez, Jackwio. It's mine. Dude's insane. He wants the, that, that power. The night of the rebirth, which comes only at every 700 years. Uh-oh. Is tonight the night of the black moon? The black moon rises tonight? Alright. Act 5. Starting to get pretty spicy now. There's a bat for you. Comes a hunchback boy, I don't like those guys. And a bird. Oh, that was close. He's gonna suck too, they just 
fling death boomerangs at you. Usually if there's a, a candle out of the way, there's usually something good in it. Eh, that's pretty good, but I don't want it. Okay, bird. Alright. Let him go off screen. Oh, hunchback. Oh, there's a bat. See, I knew that bat was coming. But I didn't. I didn't prepare for him. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, well, it's better than nothing. These guys move so fast. I call them hunchbacks because they're all hunched over and they look they look and act like the hunchbacks from Castlevania. Oh jeez. Nope. There we go. I really don't like that guy. Oh no! Oh man. Screwed that up. See what I mean about the bats? The bats suck. Oh, wow. Oh, there's some, some graphics for you. Hmm, not this time. Alright. I'm falling for that trick twice. Okay, here comes the bat. Let him come, then give him a, give him a good jumping. Now, see, I bet there's something good in here. Oh yeah, that's health. Heck yes. Yes, that's good. It's good stuff. See how rare the health is? Haha. <laughs> Okay, this is where things start to get a little more difficult. I'm interested in waiting for you. This part kind of sucks. All these jumping guys. And the bird. Make sure you don't jump too early there, too, or else you'll just fall in the old hole. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, this is unfortunate. <gasps> oh, of course. <laughs> Freaking bat. Ah, oh, there we go. Hmm. See, sometimes that doesn't work. Ooh, that's a health. Don't need it, though. Okay, so this part sucks. So see that... Let's just take a moment here. And look at this jump. So I have to get down there. So what you gotta do is jump over, cling to the wall, nice and low, and then jump back and cling to the wall, nice and low. And this sucks. And of course a bird comes. When I first started playing that game this game, it took me forever to do that. Okay, just gotta jump that bird. Alright, here we are. This is a checkpoint here. So if we get game over, we'll we'll start right there at 5-3. I think. Pretty sure. Okay, and up, up here is where we start to get some flying jetpack ninjas. They're a big pain. So 
So far going pretty well though. All right. That was actually a lot fewer hits than I would normally take in that spot. Okay, so this part sucks. So you gotta run over here, kill this guy with a with a ninja star. And then the bat comes. So now I'm gonna there's gonna be another bat, jump, and then a leopard and jump again. Yep. And just ignore that bird because why not? This part is fun too. A lot of a lot of birds and bats and flying gentlemen. Come on, man. Jeez. Cut me some slack. Nope. Oh, no. <laughs> Ruthless. Yeah, okay. 5-3. It's a good place to continue. those guys quick. They don't do so much damage. Okay, so you need to get this right here. Kill this guy. Kill the bear. Or the bat. Wait for the bat. And jump. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that guy up there. He's just freaking out. Oh, jeez, man. That's weird, that doesn't usually happen. Ooh, there we go. Not gonna fall for... <gasps> okay, worth it. Worth it. Ignore those fellas. Alright, up here is a boss named Moth. And uh, we're gonna have ourselves a moth encounter. So, this guy's really hard if you don't follow the strategy that I'm about to do. I am moth. You will never get past me. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Then I must defeat you. So, he flings lightning at you, and if you try and dodge it, it's just gonna hit you. Um, so, just go with like a brute force method. If you run up and just slice him as fast and as hard as you can, you'll outlast him. Oh yeah, Moth was the guy that fought my father. Come and fight, young Hayabusa. Look at his, look at his mask. Uh, okay, here we go, here we go. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> ha, you were no match for me. Killed. It is true that we fought, but your father is alive. Mind bomb, mind explosion. Liar. No, it is not a lie. If you proceed further, you will see him. Well, you bet I'll proceed further. I gotta get that statue and now avenge my father even further because he's apparently still alive. Can you avenge someone that's still alive? I don't know. Probably not. All right, act six, this is the final stage. Well, like I said, look at this right here, six one, beginning of six one, we're gonna be seeing that a lot. We're gonna be seeing that a lot, ladies and gentlemen. So get used to it and you'll see why shortly. to gather up all the spiritual power so you can get the old spinning sword and then just cruise through this part. Uh, oh, oh, well, that didn't quite go as planned. Alright, 6-2. This is the hardest stage of the game right here. You know, I'm actually just gonna die because I want a fresh set of health. 
And I'm gonna die once more, so just bear with me here. Shouldn't take too long for me to die with all this stuff hitting me. There's no guys around here that take two, like those spinny kick guys. Spinny McDervish, as he's well known as. They take two health they take two health when they hit you. There we go. Okay, fresh set of downs. Whoops. Full health bar, sort of. Whoops. Whoops a daisy. Okay, this part right here, this part sucks. A lot. Because of these guys right here. So it's imperative that you get this right here. Because you need the spiritual power for this right here. <sighs> Don't use the spin sword there and have enough spiritual power to, 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 you know, use it. You just hit so many ninja stars and die. This part here, just run off and then slice. Now we step a little bit, a little bit further, get the bat to come jump over the bat. Kill the bird. Alright, so see the power up we have right now? What you don't want to do is get this one right here. Don't want that one. Sucks. For this next part anyway. So I actually don't need the power up, but it's nice to have for the strategy that I'm going to use up here. So this is the part that everybody hates in this game. It's this next little bit. Come here. Come a little closer, please. Whatever. Whoops. Okay, now we get this guy to glitch out. I run over here, duck the bird. Jump. Huh? Uh, uh. That part sucks. Just try it. Just try it, and you'll see what I mean. I got through it first try, but that's only because I've done it a lot. And now, right there, you gotta get the fire whirl to make this last part so much easier. Okay, 6-3, final stage. But like I said, it won't be the last time we do it. I promise. Oh, well. Alright, well, I gotta have that. This part takes some timing too. Whoop, whoop. Alright, and then see this next platform? You don't want to hang out there. You want to jump right away, or else a uh, hunchback falls from the sky. Say hello. No, you want to let the ninja fall, then get that. If you don't have the hourglass going through here, then a whole bunch more enemies appear and it's just not worth it. Okay, here comes a bird. Alright, so this here is health. Now this next part sucks major dong. So... Gotta get up here fast enough too. If you don't get up here before the hourglass is over, then just a whole bunch of crap appears. And I'm actually, my health is a little bit too low, so I'm gonna die. Spinny kick man should make quick work of that. Cause I have two lives left and I can start right here. And I'm not gonna go up there cause I don't need the health, but what I do need is the hourglass without getting hit too many times. That was pretty good actually. Huh. Quick, quick, quick. All right, now gather up spiritual power. I'm trying not to get hit. Try and kill all the things that'll do major damage to you. Okay. <sighs> Ryu, you deserve praise for making it this far. Where are you? Show yourself. Ryu's getting pissed now. Even you cannot defeat the masked devil. Oh man, look at that face. Look at those eyes. No one can beat me. Even your father? What? Your father was not killed. He has been turned into the masked devil. Jeez! Moth was right. It 
It will be entertaining to watch father and son fight to the death. Wake up, father. I'm not gonna kill my father. No way. He thinks only of killing you. So this is my destiny. Moth was telling the truth. What shall I do? I've got to think clearly. What can I do about this? Father's eyes. They show he is controlled like a puppet. If I break the control, how will I do that? What is controlling him? I bet it's that orb thing on the wall. That's it. Darn tootin'. Alright, kill the orb thing. Whoop. Oh god. Oh god. No talking, only concentrating. Ah, oh, so close. Ah, oh, so close. So, there we go. Back to 6-1. So you die on the boss, it's back to 6-1. Jeez. And they get to go through 6-2 all over again. Hooray. There we go, that's how that's supposed to go. <sighs> so yeah, I should just get game over. We'll, we'll see if we can make it to 6-3. Ah. Things aren't going as planned. Uh. Oh my lord. Look at these guys. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, that was absolutely savage. Alright, well, we have a fresh set of lives. That's always good. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so screwed. Get up there. Oh, okay. Now run, fall, and slice. Get a little closer. A little closer without falling off the platform. Oh no. Oh no. Those guys suck, they do two damage. Okay, well I only have one hit left. Chances are I'm not gonna survive this. Okay, glitch away please. Duck the bird. Man, oh, I did make it. Huh. That was unexpected. Okay, I'm not gonna make it through this part. I'm gonna die. Yep. <laughs> That's fine. That's just fine. All I want to get to is that right there. Alright, back to 6-3. We get another chance at it. Just that last section right before the boss is so hard. And there's so many things that fall from the sky and do two hits damage every time they hit you once. 
If you get it early enough, then you don't have to worry about that green ninja boy up there. I'm gonna leave that one. That's a, f a fire thing that I don't really want. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go up here and get the health. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, that was lucky. Okay, here we go. I have enough health, I think. And lots of spiritual power, so this is good. Don't have to watch that again. There's a mosquito flying around in here. I'm not gonna get murdered by the statues. Do you stop the murdering? Alright, now that I'm here, time to get hit twice and die. Thank you. So kind of you. that part. I hate that part even more than the harder part that's up here. down the hole. Don't care. Give me the firewall. Oh, sweet relief. Oh, I only have one hit point left. Jeez. Well, I'm gonna get hit shortly. Might as well get it over with. made a critical error there. Didn't say anything because I was concentrating. Could have been quite poor. Oh crap. Now you're gonna get to see what happens when you don't make it. What 
the hourglass intact. That wasn't that bad, I guess. Alright. Health. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, this is good. This is good. Do I want that one or do I want this one? I want this one. Oh no, I'm out. It's too many. Oh my lord. That sucks. Alright, I'm gonna try a different strategy this time. I know I can beat that boss that way. But I'm gonna try a different strategy now. It's kinda cheating. But we'll uh, do it for the sake of time. I figure if it's in the game and you can do it, it's not cheating, so that's what I'm going to do. You'll see what my plan is. Okay, I'm on my last life. Let's, let's just have a, a nice death here, shall we? Please. Thank you. You start to learn pretty quick exactly what's coming and when. Oh man, alive. Oh god, that was unfortunate. That was also unfortunate. Get up that ladder, Ryu. Get up that ladder. Hello, Mr. Batman. Oh, that was close. Almost went too far. Man, nothing gets your heart pumping like Ninja Gaiden, I'll tell ya. Have to check my Fitbit after this to see how high my heart rate got. This is actually just pumping like crazy during that one boss. Uh oh. Uh oh. Die glitch away. Ducking that bird is so key. If I didn't figure that out, I would be there forever. Uh-oh. Alright. Okay, so here's my sneaky trick. I'll show you. Not my sneaky trick, somebody else's sneaky trick that showed me. But what we're gonna... Actually, I need to die. I need to die, because I need to make it through the whole level on one life. Okay, come down here, kill this guy, kill this guy. And get the spinny sword from down there. Because the spinny thing. So you jump and you hit stuff in the air. And it kills everything in one hit, doesn't matter. Even bosses. Oh man! Well, there goes that idea, because I'm dead down a hole now. Let's get game over, shall we? Where will I where will I get game? Where will I start? Okay, good. Yeah, right. Duh. This is why Ninja Gaiden 2 is better, because you can just climb the walls. You don't have to do that stupid jump thing that 
hurts your thumb. Okay, so I can't die. Oh. Oh god, I no, I just ruined it. Okay, whatever. Try it one more time, legit. So as soon as you get one power up, <laughs> you screwed it. My brain was just in autopilot mode. And I just grabbed that power up because why not? And the answer to why not is because you don't want it. You want to keep the spin sword. Whatever. All right, one more, one more go. Legit. No, no cheaty ways. Ooh, not quite fast enough. Oh man, that went really well. Alright, let's do this. Maybe if I time it better. Oh, I'm out. Oh god. is ruthless. <sighs> Alright. You know what? I should have just died before. Just going all the way back here again. She die. Jeez. Now, if I'm not an idiot, I can keep the spin sword this time. Try that method. Goodness. <laughs> Brutal. I was going to die anyway. Oh yeah. So satisfying when that works. Oh, I almost screwed up my own strategy there. Oh yeah, that was a good one. I don't know, sometimes that goes so much better than other times, I don't know why. Alright. Oh, my last life. Come here, spinny kick man. Do your worst. Do your worst. Show me your spin kicks. Thank you. So efficient. Murdering me via spin kicks. Oh man. This is bad. I have to die again. One more, please. Thank you. Need to do better at getting through here. There we 
There we go. That's better. Come on. Oh, good. I didn't want to get hit by one of those stupid axes. Okay, now don't get the power up. Big dumb idiot. That's a power up up there. I don't want that. This is okay though. Need that. Oh, jeez. Okay, fine. Let's do you that way. That's spiritual power. The next one is not. Don't get the next one. What's this? Looking good. Don't want that. I'm just gonna run through. I need some spiritual power. Okay, good, good. I made it. Do I have spiritual power? Yes, I do. Oh, God. What? Oh, no. It's going horribly. What is happening? Oh, I. How did I end up with this throwing star? Oh, no. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, man. When did that happen? God. I was wondering, I was wondering so hard. I was freaking out in my brain. Like, why isn't it working? Because I didn't have the right freaking power up. I don't know where I picked that up, but jeez. God, I'm sorry. That sucked. Your worst. I must have picked it up right at the end. I think one of those very last candles is a stupid throwing star, and I must have got it by accident. That was so shocking. <laughs> I was so utterly confused. I thought I'd nailed it. Turns out, I hadn't. Oh man, I forgot my strategy. Worked out though. Usually I just land on that stupid bat and die. That's I, was, I lost my ninja focus. You gotta keep ninja focus or else you forget what you're doing. It's so tempting just to keep running. Nope. Oh god, oh god. Dang. Screwed that up horribly. That's the best way. You can get the bird not to spawn until you're ready to jump. There we go. You gotta make sure the bird goes off screen so that you just have to deal with the running guy. Press life, please. So good at that. I'm actually gonna do it once more. Sorry, I'm sure it's really not fun to watch me just get murdered.
All right, here we go. Trying for real now. I'm gonna keep. Crap. Oh. Okay, well. Give it a go. <laughs> That's so hard to do. Hurts my thumbs. Don't get the power up. Don't get the power up. Oh, I almost made a huge mistake. If you hang out for any longer than oh, okay. I remind myself. Don't get that. Oh god, I'm so dumb. Why did I do that? My spin sword is intact. Full health. Aha! Now. Stack spiritual power. That one right there, isn't it? Okay. I have it for this time, right? Yes, I do. Yeah! Yeah, how do you like that? How do you like that, Jack Wheel? Whew! Oh, my heart's pounding again. It's not going, it's just pounding hard. It's only going 61 beats per minute. <laughs> Where am I? Were you? Ah, oh, he's awake. We saved, we saved Papa. Yay, Papa. Jacquio is gonna be pissed though. The Jacquio! Oh, he's got the definite article in front of his name. Oh, goodness. Watch out. Oh, Dad, I just saved you. Jeez. You've got to get, get them for me. Avenge me! Your day has come, Jacquio. That's the best part of all the cutscenes right there. Do I have any spiritual power left? Nope. This one sucks. Look at all the freaking fireballs. Okay, back to 6-1, but luckily that first bit of the boss is dead. The first form is dead, forever. They at least cut you a little bit of slack there. So the second form sucks even worse than the first form. Obviously. Uh-oh. That was lucky. Gotta love that after hit and vulnerability. I hate games that don't have that. Make them unnecessarily hard.
I think I'm gonna do that spin trick again. I just truly hate that boss. The second form is the worst. The first form is more than beatable. That it. They're both beatable. I've, both, I've beaten them both legit before. But if the trick is there. Hoping I can make it. Ah. life, but I might as well give it a shot. Now we'll start back at the 6-3. No big deal. Now don't get the power up. Don't get the power up. Oops. Whoops, a daisy. Oh, dang. I missed him. I missed that guy. Odd. Usually miss that guy. Ah, there we go. Getting better at that. That section. Oh man. When you have the spin sword, you gotta make sure you land before you try and slash that guy. Don't get this one. Don't get it. Just don't do it. Okay, I don't need to go up. Ah, yeah, that is so satisfying. Okay, don't get that one. That one. Especially don't get that one. Ah, get me through. Get me through, no attacking. Alright, Jackio. Yeah, how you like that? How you like that, Jackio, you dingus? Oh, okay. Final form coming up. Final form, last boss. Ryu, thank God you're safe. They didn't they didn't mess up my big hair. Let's go, father. Let's get out of this temple. Before we do, the demon statues. We've got to throw them from the temple. Yeah, you bet. Or else this is all for naught. For nothing. Well, we still got time before the black moon shines. Oh man, I forgot about the black moon. Rio, what's that? Oh no. It's a lunar eclipse. That must be it. That's what the black moon meant. Uh oh. This can only be bad. This is gonna only be bad. I can only imagine playing this for the first time. And thinking you're done. Okay. Kill ahead. Kill ahead real quick. Kill the tail. Die tail. Huh. Don't get hit by the falling things. Now kill the heart. So if you jump and press down and attack at the same time, you can do a bunch of attacks in one jump. Ah, yeah! No more 6 1 for me. Eat it, Jackwio. Victory. Papa, wake up. Faja. I haven't got much longer. This temple is about to break apart. Take that woman and escape. Dad, come on. What are you saying, Father? I can't just leave you. I just met this girl. You are a man now. 
my be- my destiny is tied to the demon statue. Ryu, good luck. Good luck. Father. 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 Oh, yeah. We get to watch it crumble. That is satisfying. Worth it. What a game. What a game that is. Oh, man. That is a masterpiece. Give it a whirl. Try out, try out the strategies. I, uh... I've played this game a lot, and it took me it took me a long time to beat it, but uh, it can be done. It's very beatable. You just must have unbreakable determination, as the song is titled aptly. Oh, we get to see his, his little face again. Rio. This is Sea Swallow. Sea Swallow? This is Foster. We detected the explosion from the satellite. Of course you did, Foster. Job well done. You are to kill Ryu Hayabusa. What? Of course, the CIA is just gonna murder me anyway. He knows too much. That's right. Then you are to steal the demon statues. So this was your plan all along. I'll get you for this, Foster. I wonder what will happen in Ninja Gaiden 2. Stay tuned. We'll play that one next. I get two kinds of payment. The first I have already received. Ooh, what, ooh, what does he mean? The second is you, Foster. Oh, he threw it. Or did she throw it? I guess she threw it. What is the payment you have already received? What is it, Ryo? She's right in front of me. Oh, look at her little smile. Oh, they're gonna have kissy kiss time. Kissy kiss time. I don't even know your name. Oh yeah, that's right, we met like two hours ago. Irene Liu. Well, Irene, look, the sun is rising. Everything is so bright now. The darkness is finally over. Yeah, until until next time, in the dark sword of chaos. I love Ninja Gaiden 2, it's my favorite one. Can't wait to play it. Can't wait to play it. But look at this, look at these cutscenes. This is NES 8-bit action at its finest. Alright. And they finish it off with Unbreakable Determination. That's awesome. Get to watch the credits. Well, thanks so much for watching. And, uh, give Ninja Gaiden a go. You can play it on the NES Classic if you manage to have one. Then you get save states and it becomes a whole lot easier. But you should do it legit. Get an NES, get a copy of Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden's cheap. You can buy it at almost any game store for like 10 or 15 bucks. Ninja Gaiden 2 is a little bit more expensive. Maybe 20 or 30 bucks. But then Ninja Gaiden 3 is like 100 bucks. Worth it though. That is the best game. Ninja Gaiden 3 is the best one, but it's not as playable as the first two for a number of reasons. One being, the main one being, uh, you don't get unlimited continues. So imagine it's as hard as that game we just played, even harder actually, and you only get five continues. It's ruthless. The only way I was able to get through it is by exploiting a glitch near the end of the game. Similar to like what I just did, I guess. But um, we'll get to that one. And the funny thing is, the third game had a different director than the first two, and, um, and for some reason he's just like, let's make the North American release just even harder, let's just make it ruthless for them, and we'll make the Japanese release a little bit easier, and by a little bit I mean a lot easier. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for playing, you're welcome, and see you next. See you next. I always thought that was funny. Well, thanks for watching, and see you next.